Today I'm going to show you everything I picked up in a local 12 gauge shotgun reloading haul and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So yes, now you can see here I'm going to get into 12 gauge shotgun reloading. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Never had the opportunity to really buy a press every time I get into a different project and my mind gets off of this. Well, a deal came up locally on Facebook Marketplace and I picked this up with a couple of other things. So I'm going to show you what all I got. So of course, the first thing that I got here is the actual Lee 12 gauge press here. This is nothing special, just the Lee load all here. This is everything we need. I don't have a bushing set for it. I just had the bushings came in, but somebody that follows me on Instagram already told me he might have me hooked up on that. So we'll see about the bushings later, but here's the press. It is used, it's a little bit dirty and stuff. I'm gonna clean it up. But well, let's go ahead and move on to what else I got. Now it also came with about 150 primers in here, which is nice. I know you can buy shotgun primers right now. I know I can buy them locally, but it's nice that in this deal that I bought, I end up getting some with it. That is real nice right there. And the other thing I got since we're on primers, primers ignite the powder. I also got this jug of powder here. Now I have never seen this before and I got a hold of CW, I sent him a text. CW said this is no longer being produced and he said it's a great powder. So I'm gonna do some digging to see if I can find any load data for this and see what we could use this on. Now the next thing I also got was a partial bag of wads here. I've never heard of this company. The uh, only local gun store by me sells clay busters, but we got some Western wads there. They're WT-112s. These say they are for Winchester hulls. That I couldn't tell you. I gotta learn about these wads. I don't know what goes to what yet. I gotta figure that out. But the other thing I got here is uh, some seven and a half shot that's pretty much feels like a full bag right there so i also got that now i also got a bucket of winchester double a hauls those are out in the barn i didn't bring those in and yes in case you guys are wondering i do have a book here i bought this book probably a year and a half two years ago but i do have a lyman reloading manual to go by for shotgun reloading. If there's any other manuals out there that are any good, leave a comment down below. As you can see up here, I got a few different manuals for regular reloading. I like having a couple at least. So if there's one more at least good manual for shotgun reloading, let me know about it and leave a comment down below. Like I said, I'm learning about this here. What I got is three different hauls here. I got a Winchester Universal and a Federal and a Fioki. And I got a couple more out in the garage. What I've done is, is I cut them open here and I'm trying to see if they're tapered or straight wall because I'm trying to figure this wad out to see what I need for wads. Like I said, my local gun store sells clay buster wads, so I'm sure I can pick it up. But I've actually been saving shotgun shells for two years now. So I probably got five buckets at least out in my barn of 12 gauge shotgun shells besides the bucket I got off of this guy. Now, I want to tell you what I got all this for. Everything I showed you here, except for the remote reloading manual, I bought that myself a long time ago. But the bucket of AA shells and all that I just showed you, I paid 100 beans for it. I didn't think that was a bad deal. Now, like I said, the only bushings that are in the press are the ones that he had in it. He didn't have the other ones. But I already know somebody out there, they said that they got an extra set, so they're going to send them my way. We'll see who that is here probably in a week or so, but I appreciate your guys' help. And as always, leave comments down below, guys. I know nothing about shotgun reloading. Um, like I said, I'm trying to figure out what hauls and wads go with what, what kind of shot I'm going to use. I think normally what I use is just the Walmart stuff, and I think that's one and one-eighth ounce. But I've heard of people using three-quarter and uh, people using, what's the other one, seven-eighths, I think. And like I said, I'm learning all this. Also, I want to do slugs. I want to do buckshot. That's the main reason why I wanted to get into 12 gauge reloading is for slugs, buckshot. Also, um, I already talked to James Pollard on one of his old videos. I wanted to do some uh, BB loads too with uh, BBs. 
and he gave me some advice on that already but that's just some of the future stuff that i want to do with shotgun reloading now i have no way to set this press up yet you guys know this is my bench right here it's not very big this thing is only like 36 inches long or something so i'm gonna have to figure out a way out to mount it on here i think i'm just going to put it on a board and then clamp it down that way i can remove it when i'm done also, with a lead load all, any tips and tricks, leave a comment down below. I know one of the things I'm going to do is uh, drill a hole in the top. That way it will make it easier to pour the shot and the powder out of it. If you guys got anything else that I need to know, leave a comment down below. I appreciate it because I have no clue on shotgun reloading right now. So as always, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there, I'll have links to Axel Hearing Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other affiliate accounts I like dealing with. It does help the channel out if you use those links. It helps me to buy stuff like this. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.